I'm working in the New Perspectives Microsoft Access 2010 textbook. I'm in Tutorial 1. I'm picking up on page AC30 and we're going to create a simple form. In your textbook, it asks you to make sure that the contract table is still open. The reason that they're asking you to do this is they want you to make sure that that is the object that has focus, that is the object that's selected. I recommend that you close the objects behind you. After you create it and you're done with it, close it. Because there are certain objects that when they are open will prevent you from doing changes, modifications to other objects. So if we close them when we're done with them, that will eliminate some issues. It will also create some other issues because we need to make sure as we're creating our form and our report in these next two segments that we have the correct object selected. So I'm going to make sure that I select contract, then I'm going to go to create and I'm going to click form and it is just going to create a form for me. It happens that quickly. The, if the property sheet opens, this is something that we're going to use at a later time Every object has a name, every object has properties, and we're going to be doing a lot of work with these properties, just not right now. So we can go ahead and close that. I'm going to immediately name my object. So I'm going to save, and I'm going to save it as contract data. Remember, no spaces and capital letters on contract and data. In your textbook, they often have you make changes and then save. My tendency is to create the object, save it, make the changes, then save. I've asked you, if you're a member of my class, to make some additional changes to this form. First of all, I want you to change the title on the form. This is the title. This is the name. I see that students often get those two mixed up. This is the title. This is the name. When we created the form, the name of the object that we used as the basis of our new object was brought in as the title. It was also brought in as the name, but we changed the name. But by changing the name, we didn't change the title. Now I want you to change the title. So what to do? Click, click again. You see, now you're inside the title. And also, I am in layout view. When you create the form, it immediately takes you into layout view. So if you've not switched views, you should be able to just simply click and click again. Space, because this is a title, not a name. This is for the user, not for access. Contract data. Hit your Enter key or click off, and now the title has been changed. The other change that I want you to make if you are in one of my classes, is that I want you to add your name to your form object. In order to add our name to our form object, we need to switch views. So I'm going to come down to the bottom. Where is it? You see it says NumLock, it says Form View, Layout View, and I'm going to bring this up a little bit so you actually can see better. Where it says NumLock, Form View, Layout View, and the next view we're going to see will say Design View. You go Design View. You need to go into Design View to add your name. You're going to name add your name to the form footer. This is really a very simple process. I'm going to go to the Design tab. I'm already there. In the Controls group, and because of the size of my screen, it's you don't see all my controls. I'm going to have to click to open them. You're going to look for the big A, little a. It says Label. Label is where we add text to a form or report. Text box is something else. It is actually a bound control or an unbound control. We'll get into that later. It actually, the text that is in that box is controlled by another location or by a formula. A label is just where we add text, like a title, a name, something like that. So I'm going to click it, and as I move off, you're going to see that the A is attached to my mouse. I'm moving my mouse down. 
come right below the F. See, as I move across it, it's going to say, no, you can't drop it here, but you can drop it here. There's nothing there, but I can drop that particular label, that control, in the form footer. When I click, it's going to create a form footer for me. Then I'll put in my name. In this case, I'm just going to put in a generic name here. And I hit Enter. It created my name, and it created the footer. Now you can create the footer first and then add your name. Do you see the way that this form looks with the very, very short footer? You want your footers always to be as short as possible and still do the job. So now I could take this and move it up a little bit and move my make my form footer a little shorter. You want your form footer as short as possible and still do the job. One of the problems I see is that students are trying to get their name at the bottom of the page. It's not that you need to get your name at the bottom of the page. It's that you need to get your name at the bottom of the form, but outside the form. So I'm going to switch now to Form View. My name's going to show up down here at the bottom, right here. That's where it's supposed to show. You can see it's in the form footer because of this little white line right here. This is the form itself. This is the form header. See the difference? This is the form footer. Form header, form footer. I'm going to go to Layout View, Form Header, Form Footer, and the form itself. So now we've created a form, we've edited the title, and we've added our name to the bottom. One more time, to edit the title, I can do that in Layout View, and I click once to select and once to go inside. To add my name, I switch to Design View. I use the Big A Little A, which is the Label tool. When I create a label, it's going to add just one, one control. If I use the text tool, and I'll show you what that looks like, if I use the text tool, it's going to add two. That's not the one I want. I want the little a, or big A, little a, the label tool. Click and let go. So it's not a click and drag like it is in some applications. It's a click and let go. Come down, click, and then type in my name. To get that out of there, if you make a mistake, you can click back in it and edit it, or you can click on it till it's selected and hit your delete key. And I'll go ahead and save this. And we'll switch back to Layout View. And I've created my form. And my form is based on the table, not the query. Notice the table has one, two, three, four, five fields. The form has one, two, one, two, three, four, five fields. And the query has three. Oh, there is our form. And we'll go ahead and say yes to save it, and I'll close it.